to go out and prostitute to earn money for food. Your thoughts on this? I have the same concern as, as Keisha, which is, could this possibly be the one and only time this has ever happened? Has anybody ever interviewed the hundreds of girls who've been placed in hotels all across Texas for the last few years by CPS? Um, do we need to, re to revisit whether they even need to be placed in hotels? That seems like a like an accident waiting to happen at best. Um, so I also hope there's no retaliation against uh, Keisha or her daughter for speaking up. Um, her daughter has been moved a few times in the last few days, and I hope they're not messing with her. Um, hopefully there'll be a safe, secure place that's stable and um, she won't be exposed to this anymore. But I I'm as worried about the systemic issues as her specific case. And, you know, listening to that state worker and the tone that she had with your daughter, Keisha, and Mike, you can join in on this as well, it almost felt like a damn recruiter. Yeah, that's what I felt like. I felt like she was trying to recruit girls, young girls, like she's trying to be a madam. And that don't sit well with me. You know, that's not the way that you talk to anybody, especially a young teen that's already going through problems that's already having some it yeah, i mean i, I think that that kind of gro groomer overtone and it also seemed like she knew that she could capitalize on the fact that a lot of these kids are not having their needs met they're not being fed enough i know keisha had to take groceries over to her daughter before this happened that's ridiculous especially when you reach out to the state that a state has agreed to give them the help. Now, what's the status of this worker now, Mike? So my understanding is that she's no longer with the agency, but I haven't heard anything further than that. I don't know if other workers have been interviewed. I don't know if they have done interviews or welfare checks on these girls. Not only should somebody be talking to them, they need medical exams and everything that goes with this kind of uh, behavior. Yeah, they need to backtrack on this worker and see make contact with every child that she's had contact with to see what she may have told them or what uh, she may have told them to do as in the case with this 14 year old so keisha have you received any type of an apology from cps or the state for this behavior the from the commissioner miss jamie but from the no i have not Okay, okay. And and Mike, obviously you feel like this could be a bigger problem. What do you think state lawmakers need to do in order to get a handle on this situation? There were allegations uh, earlier this year about how CPS children uh, were being treated, foster care children as well. Well, you make a good point because uh, what the federal judge overseeing CPS brought up was that these kids were susceptible at the home in Bastrop for being a, a victim of third party prostitution or solicitation. Now it seems like instead of going forward, we're kind of going backwards and now it's CPS itself or their employees are, are a part of this. So to answer your question, I'd like someone to tell the legislature what kind of screening procedures they have for those who are working for CPS, those who are going to be around kids. It's still to come here on the Factor on Sensor. You don't.